Chess friends, have you ever seen world champion Magnus Carlsen lose badly to a 2,700 player? Never. Suppose, you are 2,500 ELO rated player and lose to a 2,400 rated player, then there is no shame. But you are lose against a 1,200 rated player. Then it's a total shameful, it's totally your responsibility. This is what happened with Magnus Carlsen. And many people asking did the Hans cheat? No, Hans did not cheat in the game. You can see my analysis report. I analyze the game and find Carlsen plays lots of mistakes. And a very sad news from Magnus. He withdrawn from the Cinquefield Cup. It's very miserable in chess history. Let's see the game. Magnus played d4. Let me flip the board. Okay, fine. Knight f6 by Hans. c4. You can play e6 or g6. Hans played e6. Knight c3. d5 or bishop before is standard, Hans played bishop before. You can go with e3, queen c2. Or g3 and knight f3. Magnus played g3. He wants bishop g2. Castle. Bishop g2. d5? a3. You can't retreat the bishop, because it will be inaccuracy. So, bishop takes knight. b takes c3. d takes c4. Knight f3? And you can also play queen a4 to capture the pawn with no issue. Magnus played knight f3, focusing to develops first to get e5. White's further move is bishop g5. And castle. And black's best move is c5 which Hans played in the game. d takes c5 is a bad move because queen takes queen, the king is not castled yet, king will be exposed. Black's rook will get open d file. So, castle. C takes d4. Queen takes d4. Knight c6. Magnus played queen takes c4. e5, threatening to play bishop e6. Bishop g5. h6. Rook d1 by Carlsen. But rook d1 is not so good. Best move was bishop takes f6. Queen takes f6. Knight d2, threatening knight e4. Bishop e6. Queen b5, targeting the knight with bishop and queen. Queen e7. You can play bishop takes knight, b takes c6. It's not queen takes e6. You should take the center pawn because center pawn is worthy than left or right side pawn. Knight b3, threatening knight c5. Rook a c8. Knight c5. b6. Knight takes e6. Queen takes knight. Bishop d5. And the game could have been played like this. In game, we have rook fd1. Bishop e6. Rook takes queen. Bishop takes c4. Rook takes a8. Rook takes rook. Bishop takes knight. Pawn takes bishop. Magnus bad times began, king f1 is an inaccuracy. Actually best move was knight h4, h5 to target the pawn. King can't save the pawn. Because bishop e4 will be very bad for black. Anyway, king f1 by Magnus. Rook d8. King e1. Knight a5? Rook d1. Rook c8 to create some pressure on the pawn. Knight d2. Bishop e6. c4. Bishop takes c4. Knight takes c4. Rook takes c4. Rook d8 check. King g7. Bishop d5. If you play rook c3 to target the pawn. But the rook will get 7th rank. Which will be devastating for black. That's why Hans played rook c7, 
protecting the seventh rank. Rook a8. Magnus put his rook behind the pawn too early, it's not necessary. Best move was f3, creating a better structure. So the king will get f2 square. a6 by Hans. Rook b8. f5. Rook e8. e4. g4. f takes g4 is not possible because the rook will shoot the pawns. So rook c5. Bishop a2. Knight c4. a4. Knight e6. Rook e7. f takes g4. Rook d7. e3. You can't take the knight because rook c1 will be checkmate. Because the king have no square to run. So, f takes e3. Knight e4, preparing checkmate for the white. King f1. Rook c1 check. King g2. Rook c2. Bishop, takes f7. Rook takes e2. King g1. Rook e1. King g2. Rook e2. Magnus played king g1. You can't play king f1 because of rook f2 check and you will lose your bishop. And also, king h1 is not possible, for example if king h1 happen. Knight f2. King g1. King f2 is not possible because of this. So, king h1. However it doesn't matter. Rook e1. King g2. And it will be checkmate. White will lose the game. Every square is covered by the pawn, knight and the rook. King g1. Hans wants 10 million followers on his Instagram account. So, he played king f6. He don't wanna make this game draw. Bishop d5. Rook d2. Rook f7 check. King g6. Rook d7 by Carlson. It's a bad move. He wants bishop takes knight with a check and capture the rook at the same time. But after knight g5, the bishop becomes a liability for the white. Bishop f7 check. King f5, which is an inaccuracy. You can't play knight takes f7 because the rook is hanging. So, king f5, but it's inaccuracy. I will come to the point after some moves. Knight f3 check. King g2. Knight takes d2. Back to the position. Best move was king f6. Because after some moves later. Black is threatening the bishop. So, the bishop have to run away. But after king f5. You are not able to waste a move for white. So, Magnus Carlsen played a5, best move. King e5. King g3. Knight f1 check. King f2, inaccuracy move. Best move was king takes pawn. Knight takes h2 e4. Mistake? Best move was bishop h5. King takes e4. Bishop e6, which is a mistake. Best move was king g3. Anyway, bishop e6. King f4. Bishop c8. Another mistake. What? Are you drunk Magnus Carlsen? Magnus is not a stockfish subscriber, that's why he don't know the best move. Best move is subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just kidding. Ha 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 ha. Best move was bishop d5. Don't laugh too much. Look at this, you have to protect this diagonal. h5, bishop takes pawn. Protecting the diagonal. But he did in a wrong way. Knight f3, cutting off the diagonal. Bishop, takes pawn. Knight e5. Bishop, takes a6, inaccuracy move. Best move was bishop d5. 
So, the knight can't jump over to the bishop to attack the pawn. Bishop, takes a6. Knight c6. Bishop, b7. Knight takes a5. Bishop, d5, h5. Bishop f7, inaccuracy. Best move was king g1. Bishop f7 is an inaccuracy move because, simply push the pawn. Now, bishop f7 move is wastage. Magnus played bishop, d5, and resigned the game. Hans played a very simple game. It's Magnus Carlsen who plays worst chess game in his career. Magnus is a human not a machine who will play well at all times, it's not dot humans are made mistake. Also Ma machines play wrong move. I am also play blunder sometimes. Maybe Magnus has sick or something else. He will come back soon. Let's see the end game. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more. Bye bye. Take care. See you in my next video.